Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.3, number 49. And here we were given a recursive sequence and asked to graph the first five terms. So now when it comes to reg a recursive sequence, right, I always need my starting point. So I need a sub 1. Or sometimes they give you a couple starting points. But this one, they just gave me a sub 1. And then they give me a formula for my current term, right? So I need some kind of formula for my current term. And they gave it to me. Here it is, a sub n, and it's double the previous term, right? So let me go ahead and clean this up just a bit. And remember that whenever we have a recursive formula, there's a formula for the current term, and it's always defined in terms of a previous term, or potentially previous terms, plural. Oops, just depending on the, the type of problem. We only have the previous term. So if I want the first five terms in the sequence, I can see a start with um, a sub one being three. Now for a sub two, right, if I want a two there, I'm gonna put a two here. So you see me doing that, a sub two is two times a sub two minus one. And if I do that subscript there, that just becomes a sub one, and we knew a sub one was three. So I get that my second term in my sequence is six. And then I repeat that out for the next term. If I want a sub three, right, I'm gonna put a three here and a three here. So we get a sub 3 is a two, double a sub 2 minus 1. That becomes a sub 2. Well, we knew a sub 2 was 6, so I double 6, and I get 12. And I keep going through that until I get, either you see the pattern, it's a doubling pattern, or you crunch all of those first five terms, and then I have my ordered pairs, right? The first term was 3, the second term was 6, the third term was 12, so on and so forth. And then I plot those five ordered pairs, and there's the graph of my sequence. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.